In order to produce an aggressive kick serve, it's important that we master the motion around that point of contact. With the kick serve, it's a very unique swing path. Unlike with the slice or the flat serve, where we're hitting mainly the top half of the ball. For that aggressive kick, we have to ensure that the racket head is starting below the point of contact and brushing up and across that ball. That is what will give us the massive lift and that top spin. So here are my three favorite drills that I like to do on the kick serve to improve the height, the spin, and also the consistency with that serve. When you're learning the kick serve, you might start hitting from around seven o'clock to one o'clock. So you're starting on the bottom left-hand side of the ball and you're finishing the contact zone at the top right side of the ball. That seven to one swing path allows us to produce the height and that top spin. And as we progress, we may move to an eight to two o'clock swing path. This will give you that more aggressive kick after the bounce. Now with both of those serves, we're starting below the ball level. And that's why this drill is one of my favorites when it comes to producing that low to high swing path during the kick serve. What I'm going to be doing is serving from one knee. So I'm in this position here. I'm starting with my racket in the trophy position. I'm going to be tossing the ball more to my left, so behind my head, and I'm going to be focusing on brushing up and across the back of the ball. My goal is to make sure that I'm hitting the ball from seven to one or eight to two for that more aggressive spin. The main reason this drill is so effective is it forces you to hit up over the net. So you have to produce that low to high swing path. So go for around 15 to 20 serves from that position and you'll start to feel that upwards motion and the more you practice it of course the better you'll get at it. Now before we get on to the next drill if you're serious about improving all aspects of your serve then you can download our free guide I'll leave the link beneath this video. That's five steps to hitting the perfect serve in tennis. The next drill is all about staying side on. Now with that kick serve, we want to maintain this side on position until after contact. A very common problem that a lot of players face on the kick serve is because they're used to actually opening up the shoulders and the body, what happens is on the kick serve, they do the same. So it ends up going from being starting off as a kick serve into more of a slice serve or even a flat serve because they've opened up the body. Now, in order to produce that aggressive kick, we have to stay in this side-on position until after contact. So we want our racket to be traveling basically in line with the baseline. So in this draw, I'm going to be serving from close to the tram line, the doubles alley. And this is to ensure that I have the most angle to work with and it will really force me to stay side-on it almost exaggerates that staying side on position. So I'm doing my normal service motion, but instead of allowing my body to open up, I'm going to be staying side on until the ball bounces. Only when the ball bounces on the other side, I can then open up the shoulders. Once again with this drill, go for around 15 to 20 balls. So I'm having to really focus on ensuring that my left hand tucks in and stays there. It's pulling in and it's staying there. Now I'm ready to move on to the next drill. And the third drill is all about the quality of your kick serve. Now, ideally, we're going to be hitting that ball into the service box and it's going to be kicking into the tram lines and past the tram lines before it passes the baseline. So the goal here with this drill is to get the ball to land inside the service box, but to actually kick outside of the tram line before it passes the baseline on the other side. 
So now I'm back in my normal service position, I want to ensure that I'm able to actually hit that wide aggressive kick from where I normally stand. The further I go, it's going to be easier, but it's also going to be very telling to the opponent. I don't want to give away too much information before I hit my serve. So that was almost perfect, just slightly wide. So that one landed in the box. I managed to get it kicking outside of the tram lines before it passed the baseline. Really good angle there. Now just to finish off the video, I'm going to show you a slow motion serve of my flat serve out wide and then a slow motion of my kick serve out wide so you can compare how my body actually works during that contact zone. So there you have it, three of my favorite kick serve drills. These are drills that you can do with kids, you can do this with adults, you can do it with players of all levels as well. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I hope you will go out on court and work on these drills. Now if you have enjoyed the video, click that like button, subscribe to the channel of course, and turn on the notification bell. Signing off, Coach Simon from TTT, all the best and see you soon guys. That's one for the highlight reel.